Hi. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's start today's class. I want someone of you to share the screen. Okay. Mm, who is going to share the screen? And I want you to um, download Git as well. Whoever has that, uh, we can go ahead with that. Uh, okay, I'll share this. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, okay, we can see your screen. Uh, do you have Git already installed? Ravi? I think maybe you're on mute. Actually, I'm using uh, in the website. Okay, okay. Uh, but we want to uh, download the kit. Not a problem. Let's go ahead and download it. I think we have not seen that download yesterday, right? Yeah. Uh, we have seen only a few commands like git, uh, add, commit, and push. So can you download it real quick? Uh, just type in git only. Git for Windows. Yeah, yeah. Okay whatever uh, you can go ahead and download it now uh, do you see anything the installer binary installer This is the same actually. Binary installer, you can click on installer. Yeah, you can click on installer. Click on download, if that is the case. For some reason, uh, is it not it's coming not, up? Yeah, it's not allowing me to open that one. Oh, okay, maybe because of some security thing. Oh, okay, you can also uh, install um, the other option, right? The homebrew, install homebrew if you can, and then we can install it from there. Okay, install home brew. Yeah, home brew. Scroll down, scroll down. Okay, go up. Uh, it doesn't have an installer. Huh? Okay, wait, wait, to install, drag this icon, yes. Mm. Which is the latest one? This is listing of all. Yeah, I think this is all the packages that they have actually. 
for windows it is pretty straightforward for mac karnu uh, jeera babu sorry okay let me let me quickly uh, uh, sampath will uh, download actually okay okay is sampat going to share the screen yeah he will be sharing the screen okay okay yeah he started sharing the screen uh, and ravi see if you can install it for mac in case if you are having any issues let me know okay i can give you the respective link also yeah i will download it today hmm you try today uh, let me know if you have any issues Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Sampath. Okay, I think we have uh, just seen the basic commands, right? Using a uh, git and how do we uh, take the code and then how do we uh, do it? So right now, what we'll do is that can you type in pwd? yesterday we did a git clone and we pushed back the changes to the repository today we are going to do um, a fresh git initialization okay yeah hit enter okay is that okay right if you create a folder here um, you can go ahead and um, create a folder here mkdir dir d for um, dam yeah kdir give test desk uh, anything 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 yeah enter uh cd space desk yes enter okay um here let's do one thing uh, type in the command git space in it i n i t so git in it is usually for initializing okay yeah in i n i t yes enter so once you see uh, once you have initialized it you will be seeing a dot git folder inside that particular um, folder so right now we had desk folder inside that it was empty until we give gave the uh, git in it uh, right now you have this dot git which is a hidden folder for git and uh, which will be used by the git tool for all its operations okay and here once you give this uh, initialize you are also able to see the master branch okay so by default there will be a master branch that gets created okay so now what i want you to do is uh, open the file explorer you know, windows uh, file explorer and go to that location a desk location uh, i think it was an users right users yes and you can see desk folder that get yeah yeah about that yes and here just add a file you don't see that the dot git because it is a hidden folder yeah add yeah let it be new folder only or anything yeah demo is also fine yeah inside that demo create a small a sample file mm, text document only okay fine uh, can you just uh, enter any of the contents inside that okay yeah anything yeah save it yeah okay now let's get back to the git okay um okay right now we don't have uh, the origin for this okay so what does origin mean is uh, whenever you want to push it like even if you go ahead with the git add command git commit uh, commit commands and then when you want to push 
yesterday we just gave git space push right let's do that let's do that once you see the error you will be even more um, uh, clear on that so give git space add space dot space add. dot okay or dot 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 yes enter okay uh, okay uh, git space commit space hyphen m hyphen m oh hyphen m yeah yeah just give hyphen m hyphen hyphen uh, not that mm, dash you usually use the other one uh, compared to the um, underscore oh yeah No, no, not this one. Um, hyphen. You usually use hyphen, right? The small dash kind of a symbol. Okay, yeah. Not this one. Let me ping you. Let me ping you that. Is there in the chat? Okay. Okay, Is yeah, I got it. One? I got it. Okay. Yeah, hyphen. Space hyphen. Space hyphen. Okay. Hyphen M space within double quotes within double double quotes okay quotation mark double quotes yeah type in updated do i need to close it close it close it yeah, yeah. enter it might throw you an error saying that you will have to set the git config okay so copy the um, git config commands git config global user yeah that one and change it to your um, email id wow. right click and paste it okay. yeah right click there paste okay hit the up arrow yeah change to your email id change your email id yeah oh yeah I think this was already done in the last class. Okay. So I don't want this to be repeated again uh, because it will take um, time of everyone, right? To yeah. do the same thing again and again. So next class be um, prepared. Okay. Yeah. Enter. And then do the same thing for user.name. Git config user.name. Yeah. Don't copy full. Just copy only till name. Yes. Yeah. Now paste it. So that you can edit edit it in the same line. Right click and paste. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can. Um, no. Uh, control C. Because you will have to close that. You you remove the name. Like give your name. Yeah. Change it to your name. Yeah. Close it. Enter. Now you give the git commit, you see up above uh, arrow mark, up arrow mark, and give the commit message. A message? Git commit, git commit hyphen m updated, you already typed in, right? Yeah, go yeah. to that. Yeah, and hit enter. Yeah, enter. Okay, that's fine. Uh, now uh, give a git push, okay? Git space push. Okay, so now you see there is an error saying that even if you are trying to get uh, do a push, it doesn't know where it has to push, right? It doesn't know what is the origin that it has to push, okay? So that is the reason it is giving you git remote add name and URL, okay? So type yeah. in git space remote space add. Git space. Remote space add origin this name you can give anything okay right now i'm using the name as origin you can give any name for it okay okay space url you have to copy the repos url go to azure devops yeah go to azure devops and yeah copy uh, click on clone here clone clone option to your right hand side after the setup build yeah, you see a clone option? Yeah. Yes. On that, copy this link. 
Yeah. This is the URL. Okay. Go back yeah. to Git and paste it here. Right click, paste. Enter. Hit enter. Now the origin has been added. Now you can just give git push. Okay. Type in git space push. Okay. No configured push destination. Okay. Wait. A git remote remote add origin and space the URL we have already given. Okay. Just type in git push origin. Yeah. Push space O R G I N. Yeah. Origin. Enter. I think it's working, but I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is taking. It will open your credential manager. Yes. Oh my god. Do I need to log in? Yeah, you will have to log in um, with whatever uh, ID you created. You are logged into Azure DevOps. No, same thing. You will have to use. Just a second. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's already there below, no? You can copy that thing. Okay. You should ask for two step verification, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's done. Now it pushed it. Okay. Just to verify, let's go to the no, it's already pushed it. You don't have to type in any message. Okay. Now go to Azure DevOps, refresh the link. Here? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here only. Refresh the link. Yeah, you can, you updated master just now. Go to the, click on master because this is the main branch, right? Yeah, the branch we had was master. Yeah, I, yeah, the file has been came here. What we have created in the file explosion. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So this is how even uh, without having the clone, you can either use both the ways. Okay. Yesterday, what we, we saw is that first doing a Git clone and then making changes to that files and pushing it back. That okay. time you don't have to add the origin because we have already cloned it from the link, right? Yeah. Here, today we have seen if we are not having any kind of uh, uh, the clone, if we are doing it as from the initialization step, how do we push it to the required URL? Okay, both of it will be useful. So, so, instead, now, of, uh, so instead of creating the files in the repos, we can create by our own in the file exposer and we can push from the Git, right? Yes, yes, you can do that. You can do that. Okay. Why? Because uh, you cannot use from, you cannot start coding from this Azure DevOps only because um, it is not a user friendly with respect to the code, right? Because if you are a developer, you don't like the way you come every time to the web and start using it. We have different, different tools for writing coding uh, in different, different languages, right? Like your Visual Studio and all those yeah. things. So for that, it is better that you use those tools and use uh, your coding this thing okay so do you have visual studio installed in your machine visual uh, studio 2019 i think i have okay if that is the if that is there then great visual studio i think it's not there it should come up by this time yeah i think <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is not there, I think. Okay, uh, let's do one thing. Can we install Visual Studio? Is is it allowed? Yeah, I think. 
Yeah, yeah. Let, go to Google and type in Visual Studio. You can go to Google, yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's... Uh, click on a new tab. Click on a new tab. Click on the plus button. Oh, it's actually... Uh, I, yeah, I uh, just want you to uh, download it from the... Oh, from, yeah, no. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, type in Visual Studio. Yeah, Visual Studio. Uh, you can give 2019, not code actually. Uh, we need mm -hmm. Visual Studio only. 2019? Uh, 2019. Yeah, you can use anything, but I'm using this 2019. Latest 2022 also you can use. Okay. Yeah, give download. Yeah, that one. Yeah, go to Visual Studio older downloads. This the one? First the first one? Yeah, yeah. You, uh, anything you can use actually. Both of them are same. Okay. Scroll down. Yeah, 2019. You can use the latest one also. Yeah, download it. Here, what I have is mm, this will ask for the license okay so maybe we have the trial you know we can confirm we can use the trial one once okay but this download will take a little bit of time i think that's what i'm thinking so get uh, get started no no this is not power apps scroll down Welcome to the essentials. That is okay. One second, one second. Mm. Visual, Studio. Visual Studio community. Uh, you can you yeah. Visual Studio community. Go to download. Yeah. Visual Studio code is different tool. Visual Studio is different tool actually. Okay. Yeah, it is giving you the latest one only. That's okay. Uh, click on download. Okay, it started downloading. Yeah, open it. No. No, no, it is still still opening. Continue. This is only the installer, okay? So we'll have to select the functionalities and then the actual tool will get downloaded. This will take a little bit of time, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now um, select ASP.NET Web Development. Yeah. Okay. And um, I'm selecting only fever uh, things, okay? But in case if you have time, you can uh, you can go ahead and install it again also. Okay. So let's keep only ASP net and web deployment. Scroll down. Uh, the all is not required for now. Okay. Um, so yeah, just click on install. Oh, it says 7.26 gigabytes. Yeah, that is very less actually. If you select all the other options that is that is being shown, it will take a lot of uh, memory. Okay, let's just install it only for um, this course. Okay, later you can um, uninstall it also and we don't have the license also. So. Okay. Okay, let's do one thing. Meanwhile, it is getting downloaded. Um, we can check the other commands of git as well. Okay. Minimize okay. this. Okay. Let's see how to create a branch now. Okay. So right now we have created, uh, we are in the master branch 
and if you say if you see from the azure devops ui we have main branch and master branch okay okay if you want to create a branch from the ui that is from the azure devops you know how to create it right you have yeah. an option for this new branch but how do you create it from the cli uh here yeah not make the ir make the ir yeah. will create a directory for you but we want to create a branch right so you need yeah. to give git space mm -hmm. a branch or you can also like you can uh, you can do a checkout also okay so um, in when you do a git checkout one second let me confirming it okay you can use um okay so um give git space checkout space hyphen b a uh, git space check out hyphen b and okay. give a name space uh, give branch 01 yeah enter okay now you see you have created a branch called as branch 01 and yeah. then um whatever is there inside your master right whatever uh, files and folders that you had inside the master same files and folds will be copied to your branch one also similarly how we are creating it from the ui okay so checkout will help you to uh, create the branch from based on which branch like if you are creating from a ui what you will do when you click on new branch it will tell you based on which branch you are going to create this new branch right so okay. there you would have seen, you would have selected main or whatever branch that you want. Similarly, checkout is used for based on. Okay. So this is how you create a branch through CLI. But there is one homework that, that I'll give you guys. I want you to go ahead and uh, create an empty branch. So what this hyphen B defines? Hyphen B is for branch. Okay. Okay, and branch 01 is the branch name. Name, okay. Got it, right? So this is how you will create a branch. Um, if you want to switch back, switch between the branches, right? Right now you are in branch 01, but you want to make some changes in the master branch also. If that is the case, if you want to switch uh, the branch, you will have to use the command git switch, type in git space switch space master type in master okay it switched to the master i think now it will switch back to the master okay okay so um, these are the main uh, commands that we will be using and you can also type in the uh, git merge command also okay because the most of the operations that we do is that you are going to uh, use git pull you are going to use git fetch you are okay now let's do one thing uh let's type in git fetch but i don't think we have any other commits right so it will not help us here yeah just enter okay so it is not giving you any result okay it is not giving you any result because you it doesn't have any incoming commits so le let me tell you what does this fetch do okay so um and meanwhile i'm telling that let me give you a link which will help you to understand um, the differences between fetch and um, pull and then sync so let me put it in the chat okay so yeah you can refer to this later so fetch what it will do is that say for example you are also working on the uh, master branch your colleague will also be working on the master branch right when you're working on the master branch uh, they would have done two to three commits ahead of yours you are still working on one of the file where you have not yet committed okay you will do only a single commit the other colleague has already done three to four commits okay 
but before you go ahead and push your changes to the master branch you want to see what others have done what is what are the changes that others have done if that change might affect your change or you want to update for any kind of um, the reference you will be wanting to see the other changes in that case you will be giving a git fetch where it will get the commits which has which has already been done by the other colleagues for your particular branch okay so that is the use of git fetch and git pull what it will do is that it will fetch will not get you all the contents okay fetch will only show you if there are any incoming commits and it will get for that particular branch but pull what it will do sorry i think i said push right so not push yeah, it push. is pull. Okay. yeah git pull will get you all the changes that has already been committed into your master okay so first it will get all your all the changes which is there in the master and then it will go ahead and add your committed changes into the repo and push it so let's do how that uh, how does that work so right now what i want is go to the ui azure devops and add any of the file there yes here yeah inside to this this master only inside the master branch only click okay. on three dots yeah add the new file mm, just give any name mm, don't give space actually okay. yeah now create create a dot text you give so that even if we want to edit it will be easy. yeah create it uh, do uh, write some contents on it yeah click on commit yeah yeah commit on it so now you see that your uh, master branch is having demo2.txt also okay but your uh, local copy where we are working with the git doesn't have this change right so let's go ahead and do a git fetch first okay go back to git tool yeah type in git fetch yeah enter so uh, it is not giving you any of the um, git Use fetch the... information yeah do a git pull enter okay there is no tracking information for the current branch please specify which branch you want to merge with okay okay so why it is telling um, this one is because you will have to set your upstream branch okay so okay. Uh, git space pull and uh, okay do origin yeah origin and branch name master space master Okay, so now uh, if you do just git pull, it doesn't know which uh, branch you are talking about, right? So that is the reason and also origin also we need to give. Okay, now you see one file change. That means it got you the file which we just added. Okay, just to reconfirm, can you open the file explorer? Yes. Can you refresh this? Now you see demo 2 is there inside your yeah local okay so that is how your git uh, pull will work getting the latest changes for that particular repository okay git fetch you can also do is uh, do the same thing using the origin and the branch that is why it was not giving us before okay but git fetch will make more sense when we are actually using it with visual studio there you can also see how your incoming commits will come when whenever we are doing the git fetch okay so this is about the git pull fetch um, and you have already seen the um, branches also right branches and switch let's go ahead and see about git merge okay um, how does this merge work and there is also one more thing which is called as merge conflict also okay uh, what is merge conflict whenever okay first let us see what is merge okay so what do you understand by merge is that it is 
a, a method for joining. Okay, so git merge will work between two branches where say for example right now we are we are having two branches right master is one branch and the other one is branch zero one so yeah. in the branch zero one maybe you would have had it added five more files where in master you don't have five files you will be having only three files okay and when you do a merge from branch zero one to um the master you will be seeing all the files that are present in branch zero one copy it to your master okay so let's do okay. that let's do one thing uh, switch to uh, branch 01 first before doing the merge git switch you will always have to use oh. git okay? okay git switch to branch 01 yeah and done. okay now you are under the branch go to um, go to the file explorer let's add few files yeah this one only yeah now you see you don't see that file right because only we have added the file for master branch you don't yeah. see the file here because it is branch 01 okay now here you add uh, say three files okay Three or two files is also fine. Yeah, text document. Add, yeah, test one and test two. Okay. Now you have both the files. Oh, it has been okay. Okay, this is okay. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay, now you have uh, these files under your branch 01. What we will have to do is that we'll have to go ahead and um, merge the changes to that, right? So, um, okay, once you add this, uh, we'll also have to add this add and commit. So, can you uh, type in git add dot git commit? I think it's. Uh... Yeah, still it is in progress. That's okay if 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 it is taking time. No, keep it ready. We can see it tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Git add. Dot dot. Git dot add. No no no. Git space add space dot. Okay. Enter, and then do a commit also. Is it done? Oh, uh, one second. What is it? Yeah, changes to be committed. That's okay. That's okay. Now you uh, give um, I, give I, press I. And enter? No, no. I will, yeah, you are in insert. Now give um, escape, press escape. Okay shift colon like uh, yeah use a colon button here or uh, the yeah shift shift uh, sem, uh colon this thing uh, semicolon that button will be there no after yeah. l yeah shift colon no first you need to press escape and then do a shift colon is it not taking you oh just a second yeah yeah wq enter reporting commit due to an empty commit message okay it why it happened is because you need to give hyphen m and message also no just um uh, do git space commit hyphen m space hyphen m 
hyphen m no no hyphen uh, the dash symbol okay yeah oh, it's space. space you will have to do yeah hyphen m this is this is the same thing that you will have to follow for every comment okay space okay. within double quotes type in uh, anything like updated you can type anything okay but for easier thing i'm just telling you updated okay yeah, enter now it is committed and then uh, what you will have to do is that it is also added now you can go ahead and give um, merge okay so give git merge yeah it is already uh, installed yeah give git space merge space master enter yes okay merge branch master into do again the same thing enter um, escape shift colon wq shift colon yeah wq okay so um merge merge is done so let's go ahead and check in the ui okay oh no i think merge will be here only we have not yet pushed that right uh, let's go to the ui one and cross check once yeah just um so refresh this one okay uh, go to the branch 01 let's for a double confirmation go to the uh, branch 01 okay uh, it is not that we have not pushed that branch that's why okay uh, let's go back to git yeah now do a git push no yeah yeah that's it git push branch to origin okay, space origin yeah yeah enter okay. uh branch 01 it is it is not recognized okay just give git push only you enter because we do we have not pushed this particular this one no so that is the reason okay yeah. push space uh, origin uh, git git you need to type git yeah. push and then origin yeah enter okay now you see branch 01 has been pushed now come to the ui refresh it once and you see branch 01 is there yeah yeah go to that branch 01 okay you see all your files being there okay so yeah. this one uh this one we have pushed it along with the merge that we have already done okay that means from master to branch okay we have merged from master to branch whatever was there in master is also present in um, branch 01 and then we have pushed the contents of branch 01 into the azure devops with the same branch name okay okay so this is how your git merge will work uh, git conflicts um, we will be looking at it whenever we are actually modifying the same file that we have already created okay so let's do one thing uh, go back to git yes now uh, open it in the file explorer yeah now same file yeah go to desk new text document add some lines here or let's do one thing um 
Okay. Control S, save it, close it. Open test one also. Okay, here also it doesn't have any content. Huh? Okay, uh, open demo two, close this one. Okay. Yeah, okay, just close this one, don't save it. Open demo two. Now you add the second line here. So I'll tell you when merge conflict will come, okay? So okay. right now, whatever you see, um, under this branch 01, you have these files, okay? So it might be possible that whenever we are working, we will be uh, using the same file again and again, okay? But the tool will not know what to keep and what not to keep. So right now, the file, uh, before, the file before the changes, the file was with hello world. Now with the new changes, the file will have hello world also and the second line also that you're going to add, okay? So just give testing after the hello world. Give testing. So the system will not know what is that it will have to keep. Okay. So that's where it will tell you there is a merge conflict. Like there is a same file that is getting changed. Okay. That time we will have to open that file, resolve the conflict, and then again push it back. Okay. So save this. Now let's come uh, back to the git. Do I need to close it? Yeah. Close it. Close it. Go to the okay. git. Okay, now you are under branch one only. Okay, do git uh, add dot. You can use up above arrow mark for commit also. And okay. merge commits. Yeah, because enter. Use up above mark hyphen m updated hyphen m space within the double quotes updated. Enter. Okay. Now you do git merge. And give the um, master. Okay. And then hit enter. Okay, uh, there is a spelling mistake. Git oh. M-E-R-G-E, yeah. Oh, I thought I entered first, correct. Okay, uh, it is saying already up to date because um, one second. Okay, can you switch back to get um, master branch? Git switch master. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, now let's go to the file explorer and see what all files it has. Okay, it has these two files. Okay, inside open the demo. Uh, not this one, uh, come outside and open the demo to file. Let's change something in the demo to file. Yeah, add a second line here. Yeah, write anything here, test or something. Okay. Yeah, save it. Okay, now you add git add and git commit messages, yes. Git commit. Okay, uh, fine. Okay, give um, git space merge, a uh, git merge, and then branch zero one. Enter. I want to see that merge conflict scenario. Yeah. So now you see, uh, it is telling you there is a conflict. Okay, and you are but also seeing. Hmm. Yeah, it has been merged in the files. Yeah, files has been merged, but it is still not completely merged and it is not giving you the control back, right? You are not in master now. You are in master slash merging, right? Yeah. 
so in this case if even if you want to push the changes like you are you think you you did the merge and you want to push that back to the repository right that will not be possible because it is still in merging okay so okay. now you will have to uh, resolve the conflict only then you will be able to uh, do the merging okay so how do you resolve the conflict is that uh, can you go to the file explorer okay now click open the demo to file okay now you see there are few contents here right open yeah. it uh, and see it will also differentiate you where the merging is okay it will tell you in one of the branch hello world is there test is there in one of the other branch hello world was there testing was there okay it will tell you see branch 01 had this one can you yeah. just open a file as a bigger one mm, maximize this yeah okay so it will tell you what you need to keep okay so whenever there is a merge conflict what does the developer will do is they will open that particular file where the merge conflict is there they will remove these lines so can you remove the uh, head line with the uh, less than symbol that whole line you remove Shit. yeah remove that remove that equals also yeah and remove the last line also yeah control s now go back to git okay now you do um, git merge again same oh, oh, no, no, no. you have to do a git commit actually git commit because you made the change, right? You have not committed it. Yeah. Yeah, commit hyphen M. Yeah, give anything updated. Enter. Okay, wait, what is it? Committing is not possible because you have unmerged files. Okay, uh, we have saved it, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, do I need to close it? Uh, yeah, close that file. Yeah. Okay, once you have saved it, you have removed it, is it? Okay. Um, now you do a commit. Okay, uh, now you do a git merge only. Git merge space branch 01. Oh. Uh, space, uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, exiting because merging is not possible because you have unmerged files. Huh? Unresolved conflict. Hmm, 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 hmm. But I think, okay. You will have to add actually sorry uh give git space add we have resolved it okay we have not added it yeah okay add space dot yeah now you give a commit yes okay yeah, now it's... you once you have committed you are not seeing that merging yeah okay that means it has already merged your changes just give git push origin GIN, yes, enter. Okay, now you go back to the UI, check your master branch. Yeah, refresh it. Yeah, just now it says master. master right. is yeah, yeah, go to master. And you yeah. see demo to whatever you have removed, you are seeing it here. Yes. Okay, so this is how uh, you will resolve the merge conflict through command line. Command line uh, resolving is a little bit uh, uh, trickier, but what I will say is that whenever you get any kind of error using any kind of tool, please read the error carefully, okay? The okay. solution to resolve that error will be in that error line only. It was, it was telling you, you will have to do git add space uh, uh, remove or add. That is, that is what we were missing. That is why it was giving us error. Okay. So okay. similarly, see the error and resolve it accordingly. Okay. So this is what we have seen with respect to 
the git commands okay but there are much more commands when you are actually working on git so what i want is right now we have seen git merge right so there is also an option which is called as git revert okay so uh, it is not possible for me to cover each and every command in the class but most of the commands which we usually use with respect to git i have covered uh, one thing is left was git revert okay so what you can do is that that will be your homework for you you go ahead and explore how git revert will work okay so go to the google and try to find out what is git revert and how does it work and i want you to explore that git revert as well and you will also have to tell me what is the difference between git revert uh, git merge and there is one more command which is called as git rebase also okay so i want you to go ahead and explore these three commands tell me the differences between all these three okay next the class, last one is git uh, what is that rebase rebase r e b a s e okay rebase okay got it rebase okay so revert and rebase are almost same with a slighter uh, difference but okay. if i tell you the difference right now you will not understand it i want you to go ahead and do it using the git tool only then you will come to know okay okay so i will give you uh, the best um, link that you can go ahead and use for git will be the official uh, git uh, this one okay so can you go to the google just type in git rebase oh not this one uh, no this is only for azure devops okay because git is not a azure devops tool no this is a separate tool yeah git space rebase okay the scroll down yeah git rebase you can use Atla atlassian git tutorial also that is also good uh, in order to understand but the official tool for git will be just scroll down yeah uh the first one https git sem.com is there no this one yeah that's the, yeah, that is the official uh, tool for git okay but this one i will say it will be little bit complicated because if you're using it for the first time but i want to refer you this one is because this is their own documentation okay this is the gits documentation where they will give you everything in detail even though yeah. for the first time you see it 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 looks complicated but going onwards if you start using it no you will be used to it okay, okay. if you don't understand this then go ahead with the git atlassian that is much more easier okay okay and you have the stack overflow and all those links right so those also medium and all those links which will also be helpful for you to understand okay and here you can go ahead and launch it and uh, by tomorrow's class i want you to yeah click you will have to click on launch and then you will have to click on start free trial for 2022 okay uh, go for the um, student's license. I think there is one option where you can use the Microsoft uh, Visual Studio for students also that you can use. Okay. I'll do it. Huh? You do this and keep the Visual Studio ready for tomorrow's class. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you both. Uh, we'll wind up the call for today here. We'll continue yeah. for tomorrow and hope um, most of the commands and the git tool usage is little bit uh, uh, known now to you guys no yeah like we practice like two three times it's easier like how to git add and commit commit yeah yeah that's what that's what and there are many more commands okay but based on uh, what kind of requirement you get you will be using it then and there but you want to learn how to use it you know the tool okay you have to know how to use the command using that tool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.